All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends, and let us have a good time together for today. I open early, specifically for those who live in uh, Southeast Asia and uh, far away from us, so we can have time for them before they sleep. Uh, <clears throat> we know that Islam, you know, exists in uh, actually the biggest country where Muslims are exist is Indonesia. Uh, and which make me really sad that Indonesia is a beautiful country and deserves something better. <clears throat> you know, the Indonesian uh, who converted to Islam, they follow a king who was in need of protection, not because he was a believer. It was just an idea. You have many enemies around you and they want to attack you. If you convert to Islam, you will get the protection of the Muslim Sultan around us. So he converted to Islam and then most of those naive people, they follow blindly. But what they convert for, they have no idea. Same as those in India, same as those in the Philippines, they have no idea what Islam is about. And here is the proof. My Skype is open. If there is any one of those countries from Asia, Malaysia, India, whatever, Thailand, any country, Philippine. If you think you have the courage and the knowledge to call, to, to call us and show us one reason, just one reason to believe Islam, I will be happy to hear you. I find Islam is a very demonic and in the same time is a very silly, stupid cult. So I live in this earth and imagine I live in this beautiful Indonesia. And then somebody told me, if you pray in the last few days, because the Prophet says there's a night, it's called the night of Al-Qadr, which nobody knows what it is. Supposedly, it's when Allah, he sent the Quran, as if the Quran was sent in one book in one night. And then because Allah, he sent the Quran in that night, which nobody knows, including the Prophet of Islam, which is very funny, you do not know the date. Because he sent the Quran in that night, if you pray in that night, is better than praying for 84 years. I mean, what is that? How silly, how stupid, how not logical. Is it fair that somebody praying for 84 years, and then one guy, he prayed for one night, he did better? So if you are a Muslim, and you have the courage and the knowledge, please, people from Indonesia, India, Philippines, etc., share the link with your Facebook people so we can get more people here. As you see, we open in special time now just for you, early in the morning for me, so we can share and give you time to be with us live. <clears throat> Uh, we have a lady said her name is Sarah. She said I am a Christian, but love to open Muslim Skins, I'm not sure. What does that mean? What does that mean uh, Sarah <clears throat> what open Muslims skins? Excuse my English. I did not get you <clears throat> uh, for, First of all we love everybody and uh, we as a Christian we've been taught uh, been ordered if to if you want to be a follower of Jesus to love everybody including the Muslims but loving the Muslims is not about giving them hugs is about saving them from going to hell this is how you love people not by giving them hugs so some Christians they turn the love of Jesus to something silly so we love you we love you okay you love him but you don't dare to say to him that you are going to go to hell we love you, but we don't dare to say to you that if you don't follow Jesus, you are not going to be saved. So we love you in, in which way? What does that mean? So if you love, if you are a Christian and you love the Muslims, you love the, the, anyone, then you try your best to save that person you love. So let us not to make the, the word love empty from its meaning. <clears throat> Okay, sir, I get you. Sorry, I'm just asking what, what do you mean? Because many Christians, they use the word love and became empty, you know, like it's not, uh, not what Jesus meant, you know? So loving people is not by giving hugs. 
is not even by agreeing with them imagine you have a son or a daughter and she is taking drugs so you love them for sure so what do you do you say okay take drugs I love you or you do your best to wake them up from the bad practice they do so we as a Christians we should love the Muslims absolutely yes but in a way where we can save them not we agree with them and that you call it love uh, that Jesus reject some who knocks well depend you knock for what if you are coming to Jesus asking him praying for him asking for money so you can uh, <laughs> You know, Jesus said it clearly, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So there's people, they knock at the door of Jesus and they say, Lord, Lord, but their heart is empty and they are fake. So somebody maybe believe in the power of Jesus and he want to gain, he want to just gain the benefit of being following Jesus. Not really he's in love with Jesus. It's like somebody, uh, you have a son, he come to visit you only to take money. Because he need you as simple as that not because really he loves you and that is a person which is fake so uh, uh, <clears throat> and it's not for me to tell you to say who is Jesus will reject who is will good accept but for sure as I know from the Bible whoever accept him and believe in him from his heart he is accepted why do the Jews reject the Messiah the fact the Jews did not reject the Messiah that is not true all you all of you including me we are a Christian because of the Jews they brought the Bible to us all the Apostle of Jesus they were Jews so remember that always and the majority major number of the Jews already they are Christians this is why the Jews now they are less than 20 millions so it's not fair to say the Jews rejected the Messiah
exactly you will hear it in the video i said come and i will open my camera for you you believe it honestly i said that in the video i said okay come just to show everybody that he is just making excuse i know he will not come anyway come and i will open the camera he ran away I'm TV arrange everything. No, 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 no
Ja. Yeah. <clears throat> learn how to speak Indonesian. Yeah, I'm going to go to Indonesia, stay there for maybe a year so I can learn Indonesian. But the problem is in Indonesia, the food is good, my friend, and I'm getting going to get fat there. I don't like that. They have a very nice food there, and uh, and Indonesia is a beautiful country. I might not come back. You know. Then in what? What I would do next? Like, you want me to marry an Indonesian? Mean that's it. I will stay there. Look how beautiful this country is. Beautiful people. <clears throat> and then what? You want to have like a Indonesian Christian Prince Junior? One, two, three, four, five. We are Arab, my friend. In ten years, I will have twenty uh, children. Twin, 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 twin. You know, and then we open uh, at uh, like 40, uh, 44 uh, YouTube channels. And my kid, you will see my kid. He is like one day old. He's saying, "Any, any Abdul, any Abdul would debate me." So one Christian prince is enough for now. Do we have any Abdul would like to call us and show us something good about the cult of Islam? Hmm? <clears throat> no, I know Indonesian people are very, very nice people too. Actually, uh, actually, all you know, I, I love uh, all of Asia. Um, you know, and actually, I love their food too. Um, now, there is things in everywhere you might like, you might not like, and the same as in America. There's things you like, you don't like. Same as in the Middle East, things you like, you know, you don't like. But generally speaking. Uh, you know, people they are they are very beautiful, and, and when I talk about beautiful, I'm not talking really about looking, uh, even though they are good looking, but I'm talking about how beautiful they are. They are good people. They have a good heart, and they deserve better than the cult of Islam. And that's why, really, I wanted uh, uh, to do my best to speak to people who they are from India, from Pakistan, from Indonesia, so they might learn something which is really be useful for them about the cult of Islam. Uh, <clears throat> and here we go. We offer any Muslim from those countries. Why you guys you don't ask uh, from your country, the ones I mean, Indonesia or Malaysia, whatever? Why don't ask a guy who claimed to be a big shot, like have a long beard, to come and debate me? That would be wonderful. And then let all Indonesian or Indian or you know, Zakir Naik, we offer him to debate me. He said, I need to bring with me 2,000 people. My friend, I have a hard time to pay for my airline ticket. You want me to bring 2,000 people with me? And who is the crazy you want to go with me? 2,000 people. And who is going to pay for them? 2,000 people will fly with Christian Prince. Why? He is Noah? I will take the ship of Noah? Even the ship of Noah will not fit. I mean, they make it mission impossible. Two thousand people. What about uh, what about one thousand nine hundred ninety-nine? Is that okay? Hmm? Yeah, but please don't talk against uh, Brother Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik is a special person for me. I learned a lot from him, brother. You ask Zakir Naik about any topic, he knows everything. Anything. They told Zakir Naik why you, why you are against teaching Christianity in uh, in the school. He said, brother, first of all, Muslim is the only one, other example, we have a school. And then they want to tell you mathematics. And then you bring somebody, he want to teach you that one plus one plus one is equal to one. This is the wrong mathematics. So we cannot allow that. I mean, look at the, look at the logic, man. I mean, that's it. We are done. How we can answer this? How you want to bring a Christian? He says to you, one plus one plus one is equal to one. Mathematics. Very, very smart. Hmm. And who said that the Christian believe in one plus one plus one? You idiot. It is you who do not have any kind of mathematics. Uh, by the way, guys, do Allah knows mathematics? Hmm? No, I cannot call him. Last time I called him, he swear by Allah, if I call him again, he will take a shower naked. But and that's really scary. Until now, he's doing it with his clothes.
So do we have any uh, any Muhammadan from Indonesia and in, in, or from Philippines or from uh, uh, Malaysia from any uh, you know India would like to call me? My Skype is open, my friend. If you like to call me, please feel free. Hmm? Anyone? You know, always when the Muslims they reject uh, Christianity. Let me show you some some uh, some of the logic of Muslims. Just uh, some, all right. Actually, I don't want to say the logic of Muslims. The logic of Allah. If we open the first chapter in the Quran, just to show you how silly this religion is. Allah said in the name of Allah. Hmm. What? Allah, he said in the name of Allah, who is that? And then Allah, he says, the most beneficent, the most merciful. And then he says, all the praise be to Allah. Thanks to Allah. Allah saying all of this to himself. That's crazy. I mean, this is the first page of the Quran. The first page is a comedy. And then Allah, he says, you alone we worship a Muslim he might say to you this is a prayer show me where it says that this is a prayer does it say pray like this anywhere it says in the Quran when Allah he says to Muhammad say it says say قُلْ. I don't see anywhere it says say do you see it so what kind of uh, Quran this Quran is how we can believe in this this is the first page what about the second page The chapter of the cow. Don't remind me, please. Uh, I, I was speaking to thousands of Indian uh, Hindu, and I told them, do you know, brother, that the biggest chapter in the Quran, brother, is the cow chapter? All those Hindus became Muslims after two seconds. I will never do that again. Big mistake. The biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter. And why we call it the cow? Anyone knows why we call it the cow? Why it's called the cow? Who's a Muslim want to tell us? What is the secret behind calling the chapter the cow? Hello? Hello? Anyone? Any Muslim? According to the Quran, if you have a dead body, you can beat him by cow beef and he come back to life. And actually, hold on, the Muslims, they made an article about science in the Quran. Hold on. <clears throat> Just to show you the deception. Oh, guys, you will not believe it. What I'm going to show you now. I'm afraid that many of you might convert to Islam immediately. Hold on. I don't know if I should show you that or not. I'm afraid. Look at this. Look at this. Scientific miracles in the Quran. Heart massage. Heart massage. Where? In the Quran, Quran says heart massage. Brother, are you sure? Yes, brother. A brother, again, brother, are you sure? Brother, I'm very, very sure. Many mirac miraculous features in the Quran prove it is the word of Allah. Facts are revealed in the verses through scientific facts, the descriptions of the past. And the mathematical codes that could never have been known to anyone. I feel I'm crying already. Okay, go to the topic. Hmm. Quran cannot be the work of any human being. One of the verses that may be referred. I like it when the Muslim they say maybe. <laughs> disclaimer, disclaimer. Did I say maybe? What do you mean, maybe, you idiot liar? Either it is referring or it is not. 
maybe this is the science of maybe nice to meet you by the way i'm going to open university and if you study in my school maybe you will learn something and if you graduated from my university maybe you will be someone have knowledge and if you study in my school maybe you will turn into a bit donkey i mean what maybe is that science or not okay this is a science of maybe referring to to future verses 73 of surat al-baqarah okay remember remember when you killed someone and violently accused each other of it and allah brought out what you were hiding we said hit him hit him with part of it in that way allah give life to the dead and he show you his signs that helpfully will you understand chapter uh, 2 bakara mm, uh, and verse number 72 73 okay explain please the science please we are desperately among the meaning of the word arabic term dara bibadiha translated with part of it in the verse above someone or some people in the context of the meaning the verse may be again maybe again maybe okay science of maybe maybe a reference to heart massage you idiot what heart massage the guy is dead they killed him they slew him heart massage the man violently was slaughtered the heart massage for somebody he have a heart attack i looked and they will say to you striking his assist by uh, from above which make it possible to restart his heart it is a stop beating allah knows the truth the person who whom massage administrated and the directors rigor rigor needed no loose good consciousness is and the inspiration of the heart and the the beginning okay but the guy is not dead by heart attack you see how they try to fool you the Quran is speaking about a fiction story about a guy being a
smart. Can I use it? Like if I hit him with a can. Hey, by the way, if you have, if you are at home, uh, always get extra beef at home. Uh, God forbid somebody from your family die. You hit him with beef, you bring him back to life. Actually, I'm going to open a clinic. It's called Beef Beating. You have somebody die, you bring him to me. I beat him with beef, he come back to life. I mean, this is very easy. Do not need a degree. Hmm? <clears throat> but the problem is, if I live in India and there is a, an area which is of Hindus, how they will allow me to bring beef? They will beef me before I get the beef. Unbelievable. Can you call me, uh, Hassan? Uh, Hassan, are you the are you the person who left Islam before? You called me before you left Islam, right? Are you? Okay, my friend. Let us see. <coughs> Hello. Hello, CP. How are you, my friend? I'm fine, and you? I'm not fine because <laughs> why? I I don't have beef. I have only ground uh, ground beef. What we would do? <laughs> how many uh, um, uh, um, uh, how many uh, hairs uh, do you have? <laughs> how many what? How many uh, how many hairs do you have? Oh, how many hairs? I, that's a lot, man. This I cannot count them. Trust me, a lot. You know. Yeah, I remember. Like, I know. I know. But are, I can, you, are, are you going to talk I about uh, about uh, Musa's who refused to die? You know uh, who I am. You know, right? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Are you the guy who left Islam before here? You called me before, or a different person? Oh, was that uh, uh, that uh, Shia guy? Um, oh, oh, the Shia. Yeah, yeah. Ago, so yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. You are a Shia now, from Lebanon know, or from uh, Iraq? Hmm? You are from Lebanon or Iraq? Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't okay, want those, to disclose much I information understand. about myself. I, I understand. No problem. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? So yeah, now um, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure what to believe. You know, mm. uh, after uh, uh, after those uh, those two last calls, like um, yeah, yeah. I remember, you're you, you a decide, Christian, but you decide to leave Islam, but. Uh, mm, I, you know, because if, uh, forgive me, really, there's a lot of people no, who no, call me and, and leave Islam, so it's hard to remember. Did you, did you did you became a Christian or not yet? I think you did not, right? No, no I'm just uh, uh, asking you what, uh, to know uh, uh, if you remember or not. Yeah, it's it's actually not a problem, but yeah, but no, uh, I'm I'm actually really confused now. I am uh, I'm searching for the truth, but. I don't know. It's so difficult. Like uh, nothing makes sense for me. Uh, not any religion, you know. Hmm. But, but you know, when uh, we say atheism, <coughs> when we say really make, when we say makes sense, what makes sense? What does that mean? I mean, like uh, logical. For example, hmm. if I think about Islam, yeah, it's not logical that. Um, Forget about Islam. Islam is you know, Christianity because, because, well, because you left Islam just, now. Uh, briefly, I will mention it. Uh, for example, about uh, Islam, that uh, that the Christianity um, became um, uh, corrupted, and Allah didn't uh, uh, protect His books and hmm. the Torah and Jil. That that doesn't make sense. And uh, Jesus is is uh, is uh, uh, born from a virgin but uh, somehow he is uh, he is not uh, the mightiest or the or the best uh, of uh, of mankind in, mm. uh, in islam yeah. muhammad is higher but the, he is the only one who is born from a virgin so that doesn't make sense but for example in christianity uh, it does make sense because uh, he is indeed, according to Christianity, the uh, yeah the uh, how do you know the word? He is God. They believe so. It makes sense that only he 
has a miraculous birth. So, okay, yeah, th that's for <coughs> Islam, but for the rest, Christianity, Judaism, I don't know. It's So, Christianity does not make sense to you, too? Like, um, not really. Uh, it makes more sense than uh, Islam, but because uh, they believe in the in the Torah, uh, right? It is it is not uh, uh, corrupted, according to you. Like uh, it's you have the, the same uh, Bible as the Jews, maybe. Uh, maybe a different interpretation but it is not like yeah uh, we don't accept it like uh, Muslims. So, so what so, what yeah. prevent you from uh, becoming a Christian what what is the what is the issue with believing I don't know I mean um, yeah God is almighty but why is there so much evil in this world like uh, God is Almighty. His uh, His uh, mercy is uh, complete. Uh, his uh, 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 yeah. Okay. Let me let me let me uh, have a little uh, uh, talk with you. You know, but if, if uh, you woke up today, my friend, you know? Hassan, Hassan, you woke up in the morning. Okay, you make your tea, you drink your coffee. And then there is you start. You want to do like some activities as a human. You know, you have energy. You want to you want to burn. So when we say we, we speak about evil, why we blame always the evil for God, and we don't remember that we are the one who do the evil, not God. So if I, you know, we can start my day, me and you, in a different way. I drink my coffee. I do something good to help people. Like now, I'm, I, you know, I give my time for people to speak to them. Or I can go and take a gun and start shooting people. So. Who is the one who told you to do that? Like, did the God of the Christians say, "Take your gun and shoot people around you"? No. So, if if the God to blame, then if He says that, then yes, we can say, well, we have to blame God because this guy he did it because, you know, his God told him to do that. It was God, whoever that God is, regardless. But if it's not, then we cannot blame God for it. We blame the man or the women who did evil. So. When we do evil, we will be taken accountable for our evil. And you know the, the, the weird about us, that when something good happened to us, we claim it, okay, I was a smart, I was successful, I was etc. But when something wrong happened to us, we blame always God. But the fact the earth is full of a human who do evil to each other and God has nothing to do with it. And I'm talking about the true God, not Allah. So human being, you see, when you go to the wood, uh, you are more secure if there is nobody around you, a human. You would be more worried if a human around. You would not be worried too much about animals because animals, if they attack, they attack to eat. Human, they can attack just to kill, you know, for to, to do evil, right? So uh, uh, you will be, you will sleep more comfortable if you have a dog next to you, but not a human you do not know because you don't trust him, but you trust a dog. So we don't want to blame evil for God. And the fact it is that we are the one doing evil, and then you know we we make it it's God. You see, Muhammad in the Quran, if you remember, there is a verse that says, "Wa ma wa inna Allahu rama." You remember this verse? <coughs> no. Okay, I will show it to you in the screen. The Quran make you feel that you are not guilty for killing and murdering, and which which mean. Quran promote murdering in the same time make you believe that you are a good person so if we go in the screen let us show you in the screen all right in chapter 8 verse number 17 as an example it says the following you kill them not but Allah killed them Actually, it says you can read any translation you want. Slew them, kill them, whatever. So look what the what the evil Muhammad he did. This is not God. This is the evil Muhammad. He made the Muslims believe that when you slaughter a human being, it's not you who killed him, it's Allah. And that will make you 
feel better after in doing after doing your murder because it's not you who killed him it's not you who throw your arrow it's Allah who throw it it's not you who slaughter by the knife
Um, okay, wait. Listen, there is a. There I mean, is, uh, if a, I hmm. if I die, everyone and I'm a I'm a uh, I'm a good person, but I didn't believe in uh, in uh, Jesus, but I didn't kill anyone or. Hmm or commit major major crimes then you see i believe what will what yeah, let, will let, let me happen answer, let me uh, happen you. to me i believe god Hell, like my eternal uh, eternal uh, punishment Hassan, Hassan, let me, let me Why? Answer you. uh i believe that god is about justice and i believe that god will be justice with you i don't i cannot tell you what will happen to you but i can tell you that you are not saved in which way in, that you will not be in the kingdom of God, but what would God would do with you? As you said, you did not kill, you did not, you know, harm people. You did not, but that will not really clean clean you from all. The, because at the end of the day, we are we commit sin. So we might think that we are really good people, but we are not. You see, I don't claim that I'm a good person. I will never claim that because there's nobody. There's no human is a good person. There's nobody. So all of us we are sinners, but we think that we are good. You know, you wish to have things. It's not yours. You you might be look at women and you 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 desire her. This is all is is according to the book is sin, but you think it's okay. You know, so in your book you think you are fine. You are doing nothing, but in the book of God. No, no. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, uh, compared with. Uh, yeah. With those, so, so what we do? Those, uh, okay. Criminals. You see, you, you are you are doing now like the same as Allah. People that uh, you are, you are that, uh, doing, torture. You, know, yeah, you are like, doing the same as Allah. Like Look what Allah did. Look what Allah did. You killed them not. But Allah, but, hold on. You killed them not, but Allah killed them. So now what I do, I compare myself with somebody more disgusting from me, and that will make me feel better. So I do bad things, but my things is not like those. I mean, I'm not doing bad things, but still you did. So. You are you are you think you are better, but at the end of the day, dirt is dirt, clean is clean. So you have less dirt, okay? I have less dirt. So now both of us we have less dirt, but still, but still, both of us we are dirty. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if if you say I have less dirt, doesn't mean you are clean, my friend. So me as a Christian, when I say I'm a Christian, does not mean I'm saying I am better than you. Who said that? But because now we, I uh, understand. Uh... Compare uh, compare you with with uh, for example uh, Saddam uh, Saddam Hussein or uh, you see um, okay again, uh, again. Hitler no, there's no. no comparison right I mean hmm. I mean the, that there's no comparison I have uh, I have uh, sins I have hmm. uh, I have uh, committed uh, uh, wrong wrong things but it is uh, it is nowhere. Uh, comparable with, yeah, no, 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 with those this, this is, uh, criminals. See, with remember, those, I told you, you remember, uh, I told you, all persons, you no, know, I told history. you that always we justify things. Look what you just say, okay, I am better than this guy, he killed many people, I killed no one, but the fact you are not, you are not because he did many evil things, but you just said that I did commit sin too. So you are just being now, you are acting as if you are God, and you are the one who decides who, who can be cleaned from his guilt and who cannot just because you have a small ones you are better that's not doesn't make any difference because at the end of the day you have guilt and you did something wrong so doing wrong is what preventing you from being with god being with god look in the top of the wrong you're doing you reject even to accept the one who want to save you so now we have sin we do all our life and then God, he come to us and he says, I want to save you. You say to him, no, I don't want to believe in you. And then you are wondering why God will not take you to his heaven. And you say, this is not fair. You rejected. He asked you to come. Like, well, I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, witnessed. No, you witness already. Jesus. I witness for you. No, I, no, you witness Jesus speaking to me. You are witnessing to Jesus, my friend. I just told you about Jesus and you don't want to accept. So you cannot say to Jesus, I never heard of you. You did. I mean, um, no, no. I mean, um, like uh, seeing him. I, I did not see. Uh, I did not see him dwelling I did among not, us. I, did not, I, did not I mean see, that, my friend. I did not, not see about him. the I did, gospel. I, like, I did not see him nothing. in person too. Who said to you? I did. I, I did see him in person. I did not. But I see him every day, because each time I look at a human being, I see Christ in the front of me. For Jesus said, "I was hungry and you feeded me." I was a prisoner and you visited me. I was sick and you came to me. So Jesus told us that I am in all those people around you. 
anyone who need help is Jesus so when we see around us we are witnessing to Jesus and we see Jesus I was sick I was a stranger I was hungry and you feed me you take me you take me in I was a stranger and you take me in so that is Jesus my friend and he is with us so when we live with Jesus we see Jesus but if you don't want to see him he is not there for you you will never see him it's like you know you have something beautiful in your backyard but you never saw it it's a small tiny flower grow every year but you never notice it and one day you saw it but it's there it was there always it's like you have somebody in your house somebody you think he's not one but then suddenly he died and then you wonder like what I'm missing how come I did not notice how wonderful this person is and this is what we do to ourselves when we want we go blind we decide to go blind I did not see Jesus no you saw Jesus he is every day around you every day he come to you but you don't want to see him when somebody give you a help somebody give you a hand somebody give you a love the love of your mother to you is the love of Jesus he is the one who bit put that in her you will see a cat taking care of a little babies and she is a cat she is just an animal you will see a fish protecting her babies she swallowed the fish inside her the small tiny babies inside her and she moved them from place to place it's amazing so my friend God is around us but we decide not to see God is love whatever you see love you are seeing Jesus my friend yeah, I, uh, I don't know man I'm uh, scared actually I'm uh, shaking I don't know I'm I'm actually nervous uh, you're nervous because you are feeling the truth my friend you are feeling the truth in what I'm saying to you I'm saying to you the truth that Jesus is with us and he is everywhere but we don't want to see him because we decide to go blind me Look, talking to you now me talking to you I is the love of the Jesus gospel, why, 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 I want, uh, why I want to waste my time Hassan Hassan why I want to waste my time talking to you here we go I will go watch TV why I want to waste my this is the love of Jesus making me stay with you doing my best to help you otherwise there is no reason I don't know you you don't know I know okay so you say you don't see Jesus no he's there but if you don't want to see him you will not see him it's like you know somebody have a mother she always she come when he was a kid she cover him he grow up she feed him she take care of him he gets sick she cry for him and he did not understand why he should love his mother well she cover you by love all her life she is willing to die for you yet you don't see it people they decide to be blind and then your mother or your father get old what we do we put them in a nursing house for old where is the love because you decide to be blind that those people who did all those things for me all their life spend their, their money their time their love their tears on me I dumped them in a nursing house because I'm evil as if they are cat who retired so human being is a person that makes me sad actually yes that makes me sad too and that's why I'm talking about it so human being when he want he turned to be an evil creature but he is the one who to blame himself not on no one else God he showed you love what you do it you return it in evil even to the most close people to you a woman she married you she trusted you she gave you your life all the time she is with you and now she is getting old you don't like how she look like you start cheating because you are evil so human being he do things and always he blame God for his evil he do it by choice he hurt others and then he says well if God want to stop evil he can stop it I'm not going to believe in God that is exactly what the devil he want from you he wants you to think in that direction. Yeah, I mean that's that's very deep. I yeah, I don't know, man. It's I invite you, my friend, to accept the Messiah. He is everywhere. We witness for him every day, and he witnessed for us too. You know, I am a, I am a sinner. I am uh, nowhere. Uh, my perfect. friend, I, I am yeah, a I sinner have, too. Who I said have... to you? Who said to you, Christian Prince is better than you? I and I never said that. I never said I am better than you. This we are. I've all... done uh, wrong, uh, wrong things, My which friend, I really regret in the past. Like, you are a good I'm person. Not... I can hear but you. But I am. 
I can hear I your am... tears. I can hear you crying. You are a good person. This is why I am inviting you to accept the Messiah. You see, if you are a bad person, you will not be now feeling and shaking and crying like this. But because you are a good person, you have a very good heart. And that's why now the Messiah is making you feel that. He wants you to come to him and he's asking you, please, just give me your hand. And, you know, you should do it because in your heart, you know that you need him. He do not need you. Still, he want, he loves you. So I am, you know, I will be happy really to see Hassan accepting the Messiah right now because he is a good person and I can tell. Maybe, he, maybe you are even better than me, a lot better than me. I did not oh, cry. You that. cry. You are crying. I'm not crying. See, you 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 feel your sin. I did not cry for my sin. I know I'm a sinner too, but you are crying. You, you are, know, you, you have a better heart like than mine. I uh, I uh, I uh, uh, remember with my with my uh, with my family uh, members, I had like uh, fights and actually stupid things. Uh, they are not uh, worth it if I uh, if I think uh, uh, afterwards. Sometimes, my friend, I, I don't know. You see, I feel uh, I believe. guilty. Like uh, I, I believe now. Like why? Hmm. Why did I? I was so uh, superficial and. But you see, do you know why? I don't know. Maybe do you know why yeah. you're feeling this? Because we spoke about the Messiah. The Messiah made you feel this way, and that's a very good thing. So look, speaking about the Messiah, me and you, made us to come to the to reality check about what we do in our life. And to feel our guilt and try to fix it so this is what the Messiah will do to you he will be with you always and he will guide you and he will wake you up so being with the Messiah is like having all the equipment you need to correct your life and to be a person you don't want to be before so accept the Messiah today before it's too late my friend life is very short me I don't know I might go to to my to my living room and never come back uh, alive nobody knows so accept the Messiah for nobody is a clean neither you neither me but he will cleanse us by his love not because we are good but because of his love his love is amazing and that's why I say to you when you are with the Messiah you see love everywhere you go a person he smile at you this is the love of Jesus helping a woman she is old this is the love of Jesus Helping somebody he need your help is the love of Jesus. That is Jesus. He's everywhere. So if we practice that, we are really Christian in this earth. And the Christians is not a Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is to live as Jesus. Nothing else. Okay, but the thing is, um, I was uh, uh, naive, you know. Uh, yeah. Nothing wrong with being naive, my friend. Uh, okay, it's being naive. I was naive. Back then. All of us were naive. All of us, and somehow we this, are naive. Uh, I mean, uh, back then I was really naive, but um, I came to know that that uh, that uh, that the people uh, lie so much. And I didn't know that. So because of that, I have uh, become uh, maybe... Um, how do you say that? Uh, skeptical is that right? Like, yeah, you have a maybe reaction. You too have a, much. You have a reaction no because problem. all of the lies I didn't mm. know that people could be that people could lie so much. For example, about uh, Islam, uh, they say, uh, all those, uh, all those, uh, uh numerical miracles in the in the Quran uh, those numbers for example uh, man is is uh, mentioned 23 times in right. the yeah all the Quran. lies we and know all the lies women yeah. 23 times and everyone is clapping and uh, and so happy uh, me too like uh, i was there you know so Ma uh, all those uh, things, all those numerals, and then I came home one time, and then I I check it myself in the Arabic Quran, and there is no match at all. Right, you know they lie. So I was, so I couldn't believe, like, how could someone make a video uh, such a 
beautiful uh, video with beautiful music, um, graphics, you know, everything, beautiful story, everything, put so much time in it and everything of it uh, is a lie. So I became very okay. I will, uh, furious. I want to show you. Know, you. Like, and okay, lie after lie after lie. So, and not only Muslims, also uh, also atheists, for example, there is a, there's a movie called uh, Zeitgeist, mm. uh, uh, refuting uh, Christianity and I and all those uh, claims are false against Christianity, totally made up, and it has uh, mil uh, millions of uh, views. And I feel like, how is that possible? You know, so no, it's this possible. Has actually, actually, made me actually, so Hassan, uh, Hassan, skeptical. Like Hassan, Hassan, listen. Actually, you know this is this is this is this is good. Because you see, if we don't see the evil, we will not notice what is good. So it's like we have. Sorry, we, we, my uh, voice. Uh, no, 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 it's okay. You know, we have dark and we have day. If we don't have day, we will not notice what the difference between day and dark. So they do evil. Actually, at the end of the day, they are helping you, even when they do evil. Because if you did not see their evil, you will not be able to make decision about what's right. So even evil sometimes can be good. For those who they decide to think so I saw evil and because I saw the evil I rejected the evil if they don't show me their evil I will not know them what Jesus said I totally reject the evil totally like yeah. well, I am a, I am a witness of all those lies I can my friend name for you like Jesus so, said, so many persons of many Jesus, religions who, who lies yeah. including uh, uh, Muhammad uh, Muhammad uh, hijab and and that uh, debate with uh, David Wood like it's so very uh, embarrassing disgusting and, and very embarrassing laughable yeah, yeah. Uh, everyone yeah, clapping but you see, and it's, but you see it's, it's good. ridiculous but you see it's good he just help you uh, Muhammad hijab with his lies he made you he gave you a hand to help you to get out of Islam because you notice you, you as a Muslim that he is lying and this is not a true so look what he did he thought he is defending the evil of Islam by doing evil lies and then what happened and instead of making people believe in Islam Muslims left Islam what do you want more so you see how even evil sometimes work it's against itself always evil hurt itself they think they are hurting you but the fact they are hurting themselves so Evil can sometimes be useful. If not evil, I will, how I will know what is the good of Christ if there is no evil? What how I will know what is sore if there is no sweet? How I will know what is pain if oh, we never have pain? So always there is uh, uh, you know things happen for a reason, and those reasons can end in very good for you. That's why now today you are who you are. So don't worry about the evil the evil is there i agree yes but uh, uh, i mean like because of that uh, i want to be 100 percent sure about uh, new religion if i want to accept it like christianity it's a uh, it's a beautiful religion i have to admit uh, until now and i am uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, busy uh, almost every day with it, uh, learning uh, new things, and uh, I learn uh, many new things. You know about uh, Jesus, the Trinity. I know uh, actually much. You know about the belief. So, so why you don't accept uh, Jesus, my friend? You are saying Christianity is beautiful, Christ is beautiful. So why? What is missing? Why don't accept Jesus? I'm just uh, um, thinking uh, also about uh, Hinduism, for example. It it sounds uh, strange, but uh, it is uh, also beautiful for me when I no, actually, uh, look at that. Like Hinduism, many, many no, Hinduism, actually, many, with my respect to the Hindu people, I, I love them really. But Hinduism is not uh, not a good belief because simply there's many bad practice. As an example, Hinduism believe in uh, Levels of uh, of mankind, like there's uh, 
there's uh, there's levels of in society divide society into poor and caste rich. Uh, system or how do you call that? Well, you, they, you know, it's a, it's part of the belief. Like there's a there's a holy uh, level and there's the down level. Mm -hmm. So if you are a person who is your father is a was a garbage guy, you have to be a garbage guy too. And if you are a Brahma, you are the top. So uh, mm -hmm. and 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 uh, one of the practice of the Hindus was when a person he died, they burn his wife with him as an example. The reason they don't do it no more because when the preach occupy uh, India, uh, the missionary Christian missionaries they force the law. That's that's very bad practice. Imagine a man, a man he is he, he died. Why you want to burn his wife with him alive? So there's many bad practice uh, come mm -hmm. with Hindu. So it might be spiritual religion somehow. I but, didn't know that, but about that uh, caste uh, system, uh, I know that there are uh, Hindus uh, that have uh, uh, debunked it, like uh, saying that it is it is. Uh, not from Hinduism, from the religion, okay, but okay, hold on. You from see, a society. society. Well, I don't know. Well, maybe well, let, they let's, are let's go lying. This. Maybe so. Are it's a society who uh, before before uh, before the bridge go there and etc. So where is the religion to correct that if this is wrong? Where is the priest who they are ruling the countries and Hinduism is controlling oh. the country for centuries before any Christians go there? Where is the priest? Why did not do anything? I don't wrong? know. Maybe uh, okay. When, maybe, uh, when somebody, uh, my friend, someone in the, when somebody when in the burn, chat, some when, Hindu who when, can uh, tell when, us more. When somebody when, a, when somebody burning a woman and she is alive, where is the priest to say this is wrong? Don't do that. If it's not it's not from the religion, so we can say they do that really burning people. Well, I, I, for me, I, I am not a person who study Hinduism, but I saw many article about it that they used mm -hmm. to do that before the British occupied them. That's and really uh, I am sick. not the one. I'm not the one That's who witnessed true. it. I cannot say it's true, but I uh, I don't believe they have a reason to to lie about it. But you know everything is possible. However, I learned that in in India, there's no justice and Hinduism. As an example, I was I was in Asia and I saw uh, 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 many evil things in Asia happening. And the and the uh, Buddha priest walking by as nothing happened. As no, you don't care, you know, like nothing. So, uh, so you spend your day sitting doing yoga and talking too much about peace. Then you see a fight, you walk next to it, you don't do nothing. Uh, you know, you, you go to Thailand, they speak too much about God and being good, and then the country became a land of prostitution. Where is the priest? I mean, why this is happening? Why nobody is guiding people that this is wrong? Why nobody see it as a bad thing? So. They speak too much about, you see, we are talking about places where religion is very strong and in charge, not where like it is a socialist country, where like in America, there's a, there's a freedom. Uh, Christian church have no control of anything. People do whatever they wish. But in those countries, priests have in control. They control everything. Even the king himself, he have to keep the priest happy. Otherwise, they can take him off. So... Where are they? Where are they, those? No, but, uh, Where is the good religion? Uh, those are uh, uh, people. No, no, no. I'm talking about religion now. I'm talking the teaching. The teaching which we can not uh, blame. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not for... blaming. I'm not mm. blaming. No, no. I'm saying if the good teaching is not to fix a society, so what is the point of this teaching if it's not good? If it's good, where is this good of teaching? I don't know. Okay, so when I if it is uh, true, then okay, uh, I agree. But uh, I don't know what the what the uh, books say of the mm. Hinduism and Buddhism. Well, no. I, I saw I, I saw a, doc I I saw a documentary. There is a temple where people worship rats. I mean, come on. So uh, you know, in, in India, <laughs> yeah. So you know, people go astray. Really? Yeah, yeah. You can go and search. So Hinduism is not a, a like I, I don't think it's even one religion. They have many many gods and stories and fictions and etc. And uh, uh, I'm not too much knowledgeable about uh, uh, Hinduism, so I don't like to talk about it because that will make me look like a fool uh, trying to speak of knowledge you don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, but good. But, but what um, I know, but what I know that it's not really good for me to compare it even close to Christianity. Like, you know, the Mahamata Gandhi, he says, the Christian is not the like of their Christ. Okay, that's a wise thing. 
So why the Mahmata Gandhi did not do something to his people? Why why he why Gandhi family as an example they are the top of family and people are dying from hunger? So this be good, but they do bad. They talk too much about how good they are and how wonderful they are and etc. But in the same time, it's empty words, you know. Empty words. The talk is cheap. Well, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, Hinduism, uh, those uh, uh, avatars are uh, strange. Uh, for example, those uh, those uh, uh, gods. Uh, yeah, it's a it's one, a uh, it's a collection of fiction story legends, and you make one as a trunk like an uh, like an. Uh, uh, elephant and it is really weird <laughs> to look uh, you know those it, you know, those who practice the vision for arms and <laughs> those who practice the fish the vision in the society yeah. they are following God and this God he don't have a problem with it that there is somebody he is from this level society he cannot marry from this level of society the one who is poor he have to stay poor forever and the one who is a Maharaja we carry him in our head and God, He won that. That's not true. All right. So we, uh, uh, God, is about justice, about love. Love your enemy, and what what those religion teach is not really have nothing to do with love. You know, uh, I, I saw once uh, a video in YouTube. Uh, mm -hmm. A bunch of girls fighting, and there is a priest, a Buddha priest. Who is shaved just next to them as if he saw nothing? I mean, you are a priest, people will listen to you. What about you? Ask them to stop. Four or five girls are beating one girl, you know. And actually, mm -hmm. I saw that in, 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 in uh, like in even in, in uh, not only in YouTube, I saw it in person, you know. I saw it such a same kind of the same fight, and the priest he was doing nothing. I mean, what kind of priest you are? So you go, you spend your uh, five hours sitting in your ass doing yoga. Saying you're you're worshiping God, and then you see a fight in the front of you, and you don't do anything to stop it. And people they obey you, they listen to you. People they walk and they see a Buddha priest, they bow down in the front of him, and he put his hand in the top of them, and he say whatever words. So the people respect you. Do something. Use your respect to spread peace. So they say things. They do something different. Mm. In Christianity, we don't care for a priest. There's nothing. It's called the priest. The priest is the one who follows Jesus. If you don't follow Jesus, you can wear all that kind of clothes. You can wear the clothes of a bishop. You can be, but you can be the devil in the same time. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father. But the one who don't do the will of the father, he don't belong to me. So you can be a person who claim to be a priest, but you can be the priest of the devil. And that's why I see those are as if they are a priest of the devil. Because from their fruits, you shall know them. Not from their clothes, not from their names. So if you want to judge, I believe, my friend, judge the fruits of the founder and then go and check the followers but don't I judge. agree uh, Jesus uh, uh, didn't uh, kill uh, anyone neither the uh, apostles uh, according to history uh, the first uh, 300 years of the uh, expanse of Christianity was uh, was non-violent I mean uh, I mean from the uh, from the Christians uh, uh, side but uh, Christians were uh, persecuted Christians themselves so that is what I could find about history okay so uh, until now yeah I find maybe uh, Christianity that uh, makes the most sense it's a beautiful religion um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe well, my you friend, have I, other, uh, I, other uh, things I will, uh, I will, uh, to I will, do. I will I do this. I will do this. I don't want to make late for you. <laughs> yeah, no. I will or, do yeah, this. You know, anytime, I, I don't want to. Anytime you feel free, you want to say, you want to learn something about the Messiah, call me. I will take your call. All right? But uh, just ask me before, because if we are talking about something, we need to finish it first. And I will be happy to. No. But I want you, I want you uh, uh, to do the following, my friend. Don't use your logic to look for God. Use God logic. You're a wise uh, person. Like, really, uh, I have. Uh, I'm. I'm actually really, uh, really happy that I uh, that I uh, called you uh, now because now uh, you say uh, uh, 
you say about uh, logic, yeah, it is uh, true. Uh, uh, I haven't uh, uh, thought uh, uh, about it. Uh, yeah, you was you like was you, you you are you are right. But okay, uh, uh, continue. Use uh, the logic. <laughs> use the logic of a Christ. For God, He loved the world. He sent His only begotten Son. That is the logic. For God, He loved the world. He loves you, and He loves me. He loves us all. That is the logic. So everything is done because he loved us, not because he wants you to love him. He's seeking something from you. He seeks nothing from you. He he loves you. He loves you before you love him. So this is the logic. He loves you, and then how you return love. Shouldn't you love the one who loves you? So for God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son to save you. And then if you say, I'm not going to accept you, don't blame yourself only for not being saved. Don't blame anyone. That is the logic. He loves you already. Mm -hmm. He told you that. And then he gave you freedom to be with him or not to be. And then you say, I don't want to be with you. So you blame who? No one. Blame yourself. So I say to you, my friend, don't hesitate to accept the love of Christ because he's not inviting you to hate anyone. He has not invited you to hate your family, as the Quran says in chapter 9, verse 23. He is not saying to you, you have to be an enemy to everybody. He is inviting you to love everybody and to accept his love. So love is the key for all things in this earth. If, they, if we have love, there's no hungry. If we have love, there's no homeless. If we have love, there's no war. If we have love, there's no rape. There's no crime. There's no killing. There's no theft. There's love. And love mm. is about yes. giving, not about taking. So if everybody gives... Everybody live. If everybody, everybody take, everybody die. So human being, when he practice the opposite of teaching of Christ, they are seeking death. They are seeking the end of this earth. They will destroy it. Everybody want to take. America want to take from China. China want to take from America. Russia want to take from China. The, the Muslim want to take from the Christian. The, everybody want to take from everybody. And then we end taking our ourself to hell. We made this earth a hell. For everybody became selfish following the devil. So... Christ is the only answer for he is teaching us how to live not only how to die for him because somebody some people say you are dying for him the fact he is asking you to to live to enjoy your life to be a human to learn how to love he, your death will not your death you see he died for you he don't want you to die for him Islam he wants you to die for him so you go to heaven our God, He died for us. So when we say this, that means extreme love to the point He is willing to die to show us how much He loves us. So the Messiah, my friend, is not a religion, is a person. And this person is nothing but love. And if you if you are seeking a better life, seek love. For God is love and nothing else. So again, I say to you before you leave, and I'm not going to ask you again for today. I invite you right now to accept the Messiah as your savior. But what do you say? Well, you know, okay, I witness now, yeah, um, Christianity is um, the most religion that makes sense and it's beautiful. And every day I am uh, learning new things about it. So I think if I continue, then I will uh, uh, come to it, right? Uh, so, but do you, do you accept? Do you accept the Messiah today? Don't say yes unless you are convinced. Don't say yes. Say yes only if you are truly from your heart. Believe. We, we we don't want hypocrite people who they are like the same as Muslims yeah, who do say shahada. I'm, I'm just uh, trying to be honest. Yes, yes. I, I totally agree. But uh, can I uh, talk uh, uh, with you also in uh, in, uh, in a private maybe uh, one time? Uh, no I problem. No problem. No problem, my friend. I prefer always in public so people they can get the benefit of my talk and your talk. Yes, yes. But there are some things I don't know. I don't want. All right. No problem. I can't. No problem. Say we, them. But, we, we uh, see. We see. Sometime we can talk me and you. And I want to say thank you, Hassan, for calling me. I appreciate your time and your call and I will pray for you from my heart 
that the Lord Mike, will please, be... Uh, can you once, uh, you know, I, I'm, I want to discuss something. I want to, I want to, I want to, uh, hug you actually i i uh, like you know there's so much hate in this uh, world but i yeah. don't know maybe we you are can my, my, my you are my brother in the future maybe you are my never, brother but... you are my brother and i i can see that you are coming to christ and the lord himself will oh, the sorry lord himself for your will patience you. you know uh, yesterday i uh, i witnessed uh, those uh, stupid uh, 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 colors and you are really uh, uh, courageous and uh, patient so I don't want to yeah you know but if you if you can call me uh, uh, one time maybe sure, in sure. private I, oh, I, will, so. I, will, I will I will Hassan I will. Okay. one uh, will that be then uh, um, your or can I text you and Skype about that yeah you know we, we, we will see like uh, but not today you know Maybe in, maybe tomorrow or the day. Not after. today. Yeah. But then we can. Yeah, sure, okay. sure. No problem. Can, Thank you. Hassan. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you uh, very much. And uh, until uh, next time, then, uh, yeah, I All want right. to. Right. to yeah. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you, Hassan. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Man. Thanks. All right, guys. Let us pray to, to pray to our brother here, Hassan, who left Islam, but he is struggling to uh, yet to, ex to make a decision to accept the Messiah. But I see him there. I see he is coming. I see he is going in the right direction. And I believe very soon he is going to be a child of the Lord. Uh, you became a Christian or you don't? I get nothing from it. That's your business. You accept him, you don't accept him. I get nothing from it. My throat is dry. I have a very bad uh, ear infection. Yet, I'm here, hoping that maybe the Lord, he will help us to help somebody who want to help himself. Because at the end of the day, it's you seeking salvation. I got nothing from it. So, uh, uh, always, always try to understand Christianity and not to be naive like those people, they say to you, does it make sense that Jesus, he will die for us? Yes, it makes sense. That's, that is called love. But because you are evil inside you, you cannot see how much loving it is. When somebody dies for somebody is a joke, or this is a hero. What happened to the world today that if somebody dies for us, we make fun of him? That is the evil. So what it does not make sense to the Muslims, it make absolutely a lot of sense for those who have an open eyes and they want to see if Muhammad he loves you and if Allah he loves you why he asked you to go and kill for him what about he kill us kill them Allah he punished them by your hands what about Allah he punished us by his hands or maybe Allah he is short of hands he need your hands so this this cult Islam and many other cults they are f founded to use you. You are being used and abused, and you think still you are th serving God and you are a good person. And that's the whole idea. They make you, they transform you into a criminal, but yet they make you believe that you are a good guy. Look, I did not kill them. It's Allah who killed them. But you are a killer. Oh, no, no. Uh, Allah, he told in the Quran, uh, you killed them not, but Allah killed them. You slow them not, but Allah slow them. You aren't the one who shoot the bullet. It is Allah who shoot the bullet. So Allah now he made you feel that you are clean. You are a good person. It's Allah who killed them. The fact you are fooling yourself. And this is the whole point of this cult. Is to make you fool. So I go and kill and then I may say to myself, I did not kill them. It's God he killed them. Oh, what about we go and rape some women? Oh, it's not me who raped them. Allah, he raped them. What about we go and steal some money? Oh, it's not me who stole the money. It's Allah who stole the money. So look what this God, he made you feel guilty free, even though guilt is covering you from the top to the, to the toes. It's a pure evil.
Love, my friend, is the key. And we don't have it, sadly. People, they want to live hate. And those who have love, they make fun of them. Actually, they call them stupid. They call you stupid when you are a person with love. This is what they want you to believe. Today, if a girl, she is not sleeping around, they make fun of her. They say she is stupid. She is something wrong with her. If a man is not sleeping with women around him, they say something wrong with him. Huh? They don't sleep with women and yet? Now? Until now? So imagine what happened to this earth. If a woman, she is wearing decent clothes, not showing her panty, they will make fun of her. So show your panty, you're a good person. Get naked, you're a nice person. Everything, you know, the whole world trying to, trying to make you believe in the wrong and they make you believe in the wrong to be right. There's many voices around us and everybody want to put his poison in our head. But there's one thing we need always to examine. What those people want from us and what kind of a fruit they have and what they will provide like you know in USA they want uh, what they call uh, socialism and socialism have a good, a good title in the top it says uh, people are equal but it's a lie those who they are leading us into socialism they are billionaires so how somebody he is a billionaire like George Soros. He supports socialism. What about giving the money you have to people around you? They are always driven by agenda. They try to fool you. They trap you by your needs. You have a pain. They use your pain. What? What? what what's your problem? Huh? We give you all the promises you want, but in fact, you will get none of them. Somebody said socialism is equal to Judaism. What does that have to do with that? I mean, that is strange. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Too much beer in the morning? Hmm? Judaism is equal to socialism. Why? How this happened? That's weird. <laughs> Anyway, so you have to be careful from what people they say. You know, people sometimes, sometimes an idiot he want to teach you wisdom. Sometimes a donkey he want to teach you how to be a horse. But ask him first if you are, if you know how to make me a horse. What about you make yourself first a horse? You see, suddenly an ad in YouTube, a woman she is saying, "My name is Michelle, and today I want to teach you how to become a millionaire." And she is doing advertising for a company, which means she is poor. What about starting with yourself? A guy want to sell you a booklet. If you buy it, you will become a billionaire. Yet he is poor. So, the you know, evil is around us, and everybody want to take a bite of you. But only if you allow them. This is why the Bible says you have to be vigilant. You have to be careful. They will come to you in the clothes of a, of a, of a sheep, but in fact, they are wolves. All right? Somebody talking about wife beating. Let us see the comment. Could you please <clears throat> let us see the comment? Could you please translate the wife beating verse how it really is? Okay. No problem. We go to chapter 4, verse number 34.
and let us do uh, to today and uh, not only uh, translate to you let us try to be smart and how to read verses in the Quran you see Muslims when they translate things for us remember they are Muslims so we are seeing the Quran from somebody he been taught it's okay to lie in order to convert people to Islam not a decent person who believe in religion and God Islam is different so let us read together. This is a translation of who? Let us see the translation of who we are reading. This is a translation of Hilali and Khan. Men are the protectors and maintainers of women because Allah has made one of them to excel the other and because they spend on them from their means and their property okay so from the beginning we see something wrong you see I have no problem to believe that the man have responsibility of the house to be a man I mean there's things the women cannot do and there's things the man cannot do so the women in the house should be the women in the house who can do things women can do and you know these days uh, women can do things really because life changed before everybody is well, I mean, there is no companies they cannot work she's gonna be an engineer today they have different specialty different opportunity etc uh, so women before it was only a household lady she would stay home taking care of children which which is a big job by the way actually it's more harder than any other job uh, so life has changed however why a man is in charge according to the Quran because they spend their money on them and that is the logic of a prostitution so because I spend money on you I am in charge of you what if about what about if the women she spent her money on me can she beat me can she be charged on me Muhammad he used to work for Khadija can Khadija beat him the one who said he want to uh, translate my book to tamil you can text me in skype my friend and we will talk about it so look at the look at the funny logic so muhammad here is preparing us to understand why the man he can beat his wife and why because allah he made the man excel number one number two he spent money on you like hello i mean why you don't want to understand this guy he spent money on you but that's mean Islam look at the women as if she is a whore I spend money I expect a service back and what is a service what is the service will get will be given to me it's in the rest of the verse therefore see here see what I'm saying therefore so what Muhammad is preparing for you is why and what for and what is the reason so therefore therefore what because he spent money on you therefore righteous women are the one who is obedient so I spend money on you you are my waitress now bring this do this this is the logic of Muhammad I spend money on you and return you are my slave obedience and obedience here in which way I mean I don't mind by the way uh, the Bible teaches us that the woman the man is the head of the house but look at the logic in the Bible the man is the head of the house but the man he have to give himself to his wife the same as a Christ he gave himself to the church which means the women in Christianity is equal to the church the man is the head of the house the same as a Christ is the head of the church but the Christ he gave himself to the church and this is what the man should do he is there to do a sacrifice not to be God of the women and there's a huge difference so Muhammad saying to you because the women you spend money on her now we can order her and she have to obey me and what else what if she don't obey me we beat them 
And here you see in the translation, the Muslim when they lie, this right away they start adding between two bracket, first and second and third. Okay, what is the first? If you see ill conduct, like what? Hey, my wife makes some tea for me. Oh, why you are slow? I scream at you and you answer me back. I'm busy. That is rebellion, ill conduct. Some Muslim they lie, they say this is about cheating. If a woman she cheat in Islam, if she is married, the punishment is stoning to death. They lie to you. This is not about cheating. A bunch of liars. So if you see ill conduct, but, but by the way, in Quran, it doesn't say that. It says, Those who you may fear that they will do rebellions. Like they answer you as an example. You say something to them, they, say, they answer you back. You fear. They did not do it yet. Let me show you something. If we change the translation, have you ever heard of a Quran, of a book? If we change the translator, we change the Quran? That's happened always in Islam. Because all of them, they are lying. This is Hilali translation. Let us go to the front translator. Uh, let us choose... Anyone, uh, Biktal, Muhammad Biktal. Look, we choose Muhammad Biktal. The translation is different. Men are in charge of women because Allah has made one of them excel in the other because they spend of their property to support the women. So good women are obedient, guarding secret in which Allah has guarded.
so when somebody says uh, she is going to marry a Muslim you're not marrying a Muslim you're fooling yourself this is not marriage this is a sexual contract employment he employ you this is why you see Muslims by the way it's very easy for them to marry anyone because there's no marriage you know it was just one word he got rid of you you don't believe you the word wife for them it's just about the women he's allowed to have sex with her she's nothing important and he have the right to have four of them in the same time four of them so if you sit in the couch and you come back you go to the big kitchen you came back you find the three other women sitting in the couch in the top of your husband don't complain it is his right he's not cheating and not only that he can exchange those women every day as many as he wish uh, if you have money he can marry you for two hours divorce you marry new women for two hours divorce you four women at the time so there's no marriage unless you are a person who believe this is a marriage this is up to you while in Christianity the Bible says that the man he leave his family and he we he, he he go to with his wife and they became one ikhad the Quran says the man he will be marry four women have sex with them and he can get rid of them as fast as saying a word you are divorced you see how easy it is and actually now the Muslims are even allowed to divorce you by a text message you believe it if you search in Google divorce by SMS He divorced her via text message several times. He was angry. <laughs> I am an American. I have a question about my marriage. I got married three years ago. Very ignorant about talaq. So it looked like this is a victim of Islam. And how many times you, uh, your spouse uh, 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 to say it and when you are a spy say, uh, to say it somebody told me that I am supposed to say it three times in order to get divorce with someone and in my mind I thought you were supposed to say it three time or one sitting one sitting in order to divorce your spouse first time I said it was uh, uh, with text message and this was when my wife was in India I can I cannot exactly so he's an Indian Muslim I cannot exactly remember why I texted her guys he don't even remember why he told her you are divorced text her you are divorced he sent her a text message and I text her twice Talik and also I cannot remember if I intended to divorce her or not <laughs> let us go to the answer the divorce issues in writing or via email or text messages count as such as long as the intention to divorce is a present so if your intention really to divorce and you mean it that's it she is divorced have you believe in such a <laughs> uh. <laughs> what is, so what is the marriage I mean what kind of marriage I can send a text message to a woman I married her say you are divorced I said Talik that's it it's over no court there's no need that's it I said divorce you are divorced I mean even boyfriend and girlfriend it's harder for them to finish it a woman maybe she have 10 kids from him you you get her out of her house by saying you are divorced and by text message so when you marry a Muslim you are not marrying this is not a marriage this is not even a boyfriend the guy even don't remember why he divorced her 
because it's a joke. He get angry from you. He threat you, uh, or divorced. Oh, now you are homeless. It's a threat. It's a it's a terrorism. So women, she will never feel secure in her house. I remember a Muslim woman. She said to my mother, she, my mom, she was cooking, and this woman, she come to help her in, in the kitchen. She's a Muslim. She said to her, you know, you are you are lucky, you know, you're guaranteed that you will eat from your food. My mom, she thought like she maybe she needs some money, etc. Said, what's wrong? Said, no, 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 it's nothing wrong. But I'm talking about like you know, like you are not feeling your husband. You will get angry from you and call you says you are divorced and you will not eat from your food you know she is very sad because this is what happened to Muslim women she is not sure she will eat from the food she is cooking because he might any second get angry from somebody somewhere and he call her he says you are divorced get out I don't want you or you call your husband in the wrong time he's angry from somebody he said don't call me again you are divorced that's it it's over the women she is cooking from the food she will not eat from it she have to leave She was looking at my mom saying you are lucky you know you are for sure you will eat from the food you are eating imagine how much insecurity they have this is why muslim women when they get married if we can call it marriage they try their best to save money from the behind the husband every few days she needs something oh we need to change the curtain oh the kid he put uh, uh, even they split in purpose you know they damage the couches the, the furniture because she want to be sure he spend all his money because if he save money he will have a new wife so the women she will do her best to keep the man bankrupt because a muslim man he get rich he go and buy a new brand new wife younger one so what the muslim women she do she try her best to suck all the money he have she make any excuse because this is the only way she can keep him home he got money he will get a new wife he got more money he will get the third wife he got more money he will get the fourth and after he got the fourth he kicked the last one which was the old, like the, the, the older one because she became old now and then he get the brand new one so what they do they do their best to keep them poor and not only that, they save money from their back because they, he might kick them anytime. So she said to you, "Oh, today I need to. Uh, I spend one hundred dollars," but in fact she spent twenty because she's saving with her family from you, from your behind your back because she doesn't know you might kick her anytime. And this is the reality, my friend. And look, this guy. He is divorcing his wife, but yet he do not know even why. By sending a text message. This is not a marriage. Marriage is based on a value that we we became united in the front of God. Based on love, based on unity, not based that you are serving me and I own you and I can get rid of you. Show you approve that she spent 100 that's very easy for a woman to do she can give you all the receipt you want and then after you check them out she return them <laughs> i mean how easy is that <laughs> and you know imagine you live in a house but you cannot even trust your own husband or your wife what kind of life it is all right a person want to cheat will cheat you see cheating is very easy and this is one of the one of the way of cheating cheating by money cheating by lying cheating by doing things in the wrong way, cheating by sleeping around a, a person want to cheat a woman or a man they will cheat you, there's no way you can hold them there's a story in Saudi Arabia there's a Muslim who is very 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 conservative he don't allow his wife to see anyone nobody she don't go out. She is not allowed to open the door for anyone. He have a, he have a bars in his windows. He have a, a, ga a gate from uh, from steel in his door. He he locked the key. Nobody have the key. There's no phone. She can't talk to anyone. And the only time anyone can come home to visit her 
even from her family is when he is there that's it six months a woman she come to the door she knock at the door the guy who opened the door see the women come only when the husband is home he opened the door and he see a woman because he's a a decent person supposedly so he called his wife honey a woman uh, uh, a woman she is here the woman she comes she take her to her room because she's a woman I mean come on six months this woman come only when the husband is home never when he is not and the man he like that here we go his wife okay she got somebody to visit her a woman when he is home perfect and his wife she is not complaining and one day his sister the sister of the husband she come to visit and the husband he said to his sister I'll go uh, inside the bedroom because uh, my wife she have her friend there the wife she went there because she's a woman she can enter the room six months the guy he is even making tea for them look how nice he is supposedly because he want his wife not to see anyone as long as she's doing that okay I will make tea for you you have your friend stay stay there I will make tea for you and I'll bring it to your door he look at the door and he cannot get in because there's a woman inside haram haram brother the women she comes she take the coffee and the tea and she get it in and the fruits after six months his wife his, uh, his his sister she came to visit him and because she's a woman she can go to the bedroom but when she went to the bedroom she found a boyfriend having sex with the wife six months a guy is coming to his house wearing burqa six months a man wearing burqa the stupid Abdul, he opened the door for him. He make tea for him. He make coffee for him. And he say, honey, do you need anything? She say, no, honey, I'm fine. Honey, are you okay? I hear some noise. No, don't worry, we are fine. He never spoke to her because it's haram. The voice of the woman is haram. He cannot even talk to her. Like, ask her, who are you? Let us hear if the voice is the voice of a woman. But it's not haram. It's haram, brother. I'm a decent Muslim. Six months he is having sex with his wife in his house and he is in the house and he is the stupid he is making coffee and tea but how you will know she's wearing burqa or he actually so here we go you close the doors you put bars you lock the door there's no phone she can't see the word still she can cheat So burqa will not prevent cheating. Actually, burqa is the best way to cheat because your wife, she can walk with a stranger in front of you and you will not know it's her. How you will know? How you will know? It's impossible. Which one is your wife? Hmm? Which one of them is your wife? <laughs> How you will know? madness actually even in the in the old uh, in the old testament you will see where it says that they thought she is a hooker because she was wearing a burqa because in the old days uh women who they wear burqa they do it so nobody will know who they are so they cover themselves so nobody will know Anyway, and it's still, by the way, we cannot judge Islam by this, uh, Burqa, I mean. We judge Islam by the teaching of Muhammad and Muhammad himself and the God of Muhammad. Because at the end of the day, people, they do. People, they cheat in everywhere. There's people who claim to be Christian, they cheat. People who claim to be Jewish, uh, Hindus, Buddhas, people, they cheat. But Muhammad himself is a cheater. And here is the irony.
if the if the teacher himself is a cheater so what we can complain about nothing Do we have any Muslim want to say something to us? Are you live streaming while open the studio door? What does that mean? What studio door? What do you mean studio door? I'm a guy he called me here liar okay he can call me liar. you can call me whatever you want feel free my friend call as much as you wish that will not change the fact that you cannot refute me Adam 